got a new friend. Somebody moved in. Friend is not gonna be fun when I move the car. You're gonna go flying. Try to get him down. Like a glove. Look at her. She fits perfect in this little spot. This, that is a dog barking. And this is our Airbnb for the night hour. <laughs> like my car is coming in with me. It's not. How sweet is this place? So the main house of the host is there. And then this is the cottage and the place where I'm staying. So sweet. I love it. It has this little very private um, parking space like right next to it, which is really convenient for me because well, I'll talk to you about it inside, but I'm here to kind of get ready and regroup and wash things and prep things. So it's nice to be able to just step right out to the door to the car. So let's go in. Yay, we are here. Oh, that worked. Awesome. I always feel like really excited when something works. <gasps> How freaking cute is this? Oh my gosh! Hi! I'm sweaty. It's been a long day. <gasps> How cute is this place? It's so cute and I love it so much. Oh my goodness. What is this? Air purifier? Oh, maybe a fan? I think it's a big fan. How cute is this? Okay, well let's do it proper. We just walked into the door. Obviously you saw the dresser with the mirror there. And the little kitchen is adorable. So sweet. Ah, uh, I love this so much. I can't even tell you, this is perfect for me. This is perfect to get set up for my camping trip for the next four days. Nice fridge situation. We've got a little oven. I'm not cooking, I got Chipotle, but if I was, oh, this is such a cute spot. I always like to look in the cabinets to see. Like what is provided? Coffee and tea, and probably plates I'm guessing, yeah, a couple plates. A binder with information. Welcome to our bungalow. Oh, love it. A little chair area, darling. This is one of the things that I was uh, looking for when booking. Hold on, I'm gonna go to the other side. <laughs> was washer dryer. So I'm gonna wash my sheets from my last trip all my bedding, my towels, I have some clothes to wash. And then the little bedroom look, should we turn? <gasps> it just got so much better. It's like, I think the camera's throwing it a bit. I'm filming this on my phone, you guys. I'm sorry, I've been traveling all day. But it's pink. It's like coral. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. And then a lovely bathroom. I don't know why the bathroom looks yellow. It's not yellow. And a nice big shower, which I will take full advantage of because I feel real stinky. Ooh, very nice. Ah, oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. Oh, I love this so much. Okay, well, I am gonna get laundry going, groceries unpacked, and we'll chat. But here, here we are. We are ready to go. Okay. Normal. Warm. 33 minutes seems very short. That's fine. Ah! What's up, water? Hi. I am a real hot mess right now. So, you know, it's been a day. I have. Not slept much, but I got all my work done. I got here. It was a good travel day. I was on the world's hottest airplane in the tiniest seat. I can't remember sitting in that small of an airplane seat ever. It was a United flight. I've always, I mean, I'm, I'm very brand loyal to United. But uh, I didn't have like Economy Plus. I didn't, I booked this ticket so last minute and it, that was what the seat I could get. Um, I have a high enough status with United that I can get economy plus without paying extra for it, uh, usually, but there was just none of that available. So that's fine. That's fine. I edited the whole way over. I got two videos. I got all my work done for the week. So good. 
Very good. And to arrive here in this cutie patootie place, and that is an air conditioner, by the way. I turned it off because it was just like one too many really loud things because I got the washer going too because I got... It's 6.30, I'm exhausted, and I want to get three loads of laundry done and upload all my things while I have internet and just make sure I'm all organized so I can leave really early in the morning. I'm so glad I found this spot. This is such a sweet spot. It's like eight minutes from the airport. So I flew in. I got in like about 3.30. I think by the time I left the airport, it was a little after 4, 4.30ish. And I went over to REI because I wanted to pick up some mosquito repellent. Um, some like more heavy duty mosquito repellent because I, I brought with me this like more natural kind that I wanted to try. But uh, I really like the Sawyer, I don't know how to say this, whatever. I have this spray for my clothes like when I went backpacking, when I know I'm going to be in a place with a lot of ticks. Um, I use that and it's very effective. It's very, very strong. So I use it sparingly, but I, I wanted something like that to have with me for this adventure. And when I was there, I talked, I think in my last adventure, my last trip out here, I talked about wanting, perhaps wanting a collapsible sink. And I just saw this and I thought, that's perfect. Um, I can use it. I have like a little solar shower. I will eventually, I will do like a tour, of, I don't know when the tour of the car is going up, I haven't actually filmed it yet, but at some point I'll do a tour of the car and show you everything that I have with me. So it has a little drain, I thought in a pinch if I need to wash clothes or need to, I don't know, purify water, like have a big thing to hold water, and it collapses down. They also had some things on clearance from summer, I got this bathing suit top from Prana, it was $19. Yes, please. And these shorts were 25, right? 26. 26 dollars. And they are meant to be like hybrid shorts designed to um, hybrid. So you can use them just for bumming around. You can use them to, they're fast drying. They're like sweat wicking. Anyway, I bought some things. I stopped Chipotle and got myself some Chipotle. Do you want to hear the saddest, the saddest? They took away the pollo asada. I had a long conversation with the woman helping me at a Chipotle, and apparently the pollo asada, which, oh, I, talk, I, th I get mixed up where I talk about things. Like, so I have a community on Patreon where I talk more about just kind of like my at-home life. I share at-home life stuff, day-in-the-life vlogs, um, organizational content when I have it, home stuff, home life hauls, things like that, and I talked about the, how good the pollo asada was, like, multiple times over the summer, and it was like a limited edition thing, and they took it away, but she said they're bringing a steak with the same marinade in the, like, next few weeks, I'm excited about it. So I just got a chicken burrito bowl, I'm going to have to heat that up, it's ice cold now, because then I went to the grocery store, went to Trader Joe's, did not get everything. This is not going to be able to sustain me for the whole four days camping trip, but it's just like what my brain had the capacity to figure out. I'm not good at like thinking about what I'm going to want for dinner. <laughs> so I got two bag salads. I've never tried this lemon arugula one. I thought it would sound good. So that will get me through. That's a couple meals right there. Of course you got your bread. I got this sprouted wheat, oats, and honey bread. Mainly because it was the smallest loaf they had, and I just didn't want to waste anything. I got uh, this little oat creamer. I'd rather just have oat milk, but it was the smallest thing. Again, I'm trying to waste less than I can. Um, sweet potatoes. I got my favorite when I go to Trader Joe's is get the fresh peas. I saw these little cucumbers, and I thought, oh my gosh, how cute. I like snacking when I'm camping, so in that vein, I also got baby carrots. A uh, very nice big thing of, oop, it's all slid over, to, oh, it got dented. Whoopsies. Oh, I hope it still seals. Okay. I got a very big thing of hummus. I've never tried their cilantro and jalapeno hummus, but that sounds delightful. Snack peas, so put that into the snacking category. Again, I'm sorry for the noise. I've never tried this. I love tzatziki dip, and um, I'm dairy, I don't do dairy well, so I thought I'd try that. That's dairy free. I didn't have my favorite healthy, which is the ginger and lemon, but I'm trying this passion fruit. I'll probably drink that right now, to be honest. What is it? Passion fruit and, nectar and tangerine. I think it's a special for the season. I got some chicken breast. I don't like their 
dairy alternative che uh, cheese slices. So I might try to find another grocery store on the way to my destination tomorrow. Because um, I do need to get probably like another protein-ish kind of thing. So I don't know what that's going to look like yet. Maybe I like to do sausage when I'm traveling. Um, something easy to, to make. So I have to think about that. Got some treats, you know, I me. Mean. <laughs> so why just have speculus cookies which if you haven't had these by the way they are so tasty if you can also pair them with the crunchy cookie butter spread last camping trip i got myself nutella this camping trip we are going this cookie butter don't buy it don't buy it it's too good of course i got peanut butter and jam i got their raspberry preserves and crunchy peanut butter no salt Everything but the bagel. I do need to go to a regular grocery store because I need like regular salt and smoked paprika they didn't have and I didn't like, they have like this big grinder salt I didn't want. My favorite protein bars, um, so I always stock up on them when I see and then I got three avocados and five enormous apples and that is my Trader Joe's haul. I also got gas with the car, got a free car wash with it which was sweet. And so she's all nice and shiny now. And I got ice for the cooler. So the cooler's, you can't see it, but it's down there. It's icing up overnight. So I'll put all this in the fridge. It's best to like ice the cooler 24 hours if you can. I don't have quite that long, but it's fine. I moved it. I brought all my stuff in. I've got, I'm going to purify water for me. I'm going to, or purify, what is it called? Filter? Filter water. I'm doing the laundry, like I said. Got work to do. Uh, but yeah, this spot is perfect for this. It's just ideal. I'm gonna do all of that. I'm probably not gonna check in again tonight. Um, I hope my my um, tour came out okay because I saw that my lens was smudgy afterwards. But now it's like covered in my crap and I can't refill it because <laughs> um, it's not as pristine as it was. But oh yeah, I'm also here. I'll show you. I'm also. I'll just, I'll give you a tour of me after I've moved in. How about that? <laughs> okay, I exploded in this room. So I've got laundry waiting to go in, laundry already in. Oh, this is the air conditioner, by the way. It works beautifully and quickly too. So I'll get that back on. I've got my jack recharging. It was only a 91%, but top it off whenever possible. I've got all my cameras and stuff. I've got my cooler. I've got my uh, water thing for my hiking pack, my water stuff. And the Chipotle, which I'm about to eat. But yeah, this is this is the perfect post between camping trips refuel recharge spot. This is just this is perfect. And the I the location, if you're flying in and out of Seattle for any trips and you need a night to like get your life together before you hit the the campgrounds and stuff, come here. This is perfect. Don't know if I showed this outside part too. There's this little patio here. So cute. The next morning. Good morning from Burien. Is that how we say it? Please tell me if I'm not saying it right. I think it's Burien, the town I've been, I spent the night in here. I thought, oh my gosh, that Airbnb was perfect. 10 out of 10, like 100 out of 10 recommend. If you're coming into Seattle, just just to stay there would be great. But I think particularly for my needs, it was just perfect. I'm so delighted I found it because I, it was a little bit of a tight squeeze getting in that parking space in the alley, but I did it. You know, Blue, she's, she can manage the tight turns. It was like an eight point turn to get into it, but I did it. And then it was just perfect right by the door. I could get in and out with the laundry and the food and the cooler and everything. And I'm all packed up and ready to go. And I was like, yay, I'm leaving at 730. That was kind of my target time to leave. And I didn't think about where I'm going. So I came into town here and I just went to this cutie patootie coffee shop over there called the Burian Press. And they made me an oat milk latte. And I haven't had, and not a latte, mocha. I haven't had like full on coffee in a very, very long time. But I really just wanted to experience the local, you know, you think of Seattle, you think of coffee. I don't know, I do. I asked them what they suggested and they said this, so. Mm. And I also bought two pastries because why get one when you can have two? I figured I'd save this muffin. 
in the house and morning glory muffin. I need to figure out my food storage situation a little better because this just is not cutting. I can't. Like, I was like, oh, I'll go to the back to another store. I can't fit any more food in my cooler. I've thought about it. I think I actually do have enough food. If I could get maybe like half a dozen eggs somewhere, that would be ideal, but it's not necessary. I just got a chopped croissant that I will be eating when I'm in transit. So my plan is, it's about a two and a half hour drive. I haven't told you what we're doing here yet. <laughs> this is so freaking excited. I would be swearing if this wasn't a YouTube video. <laughs> this is so freaking exciting. I am going to the Gorge Amphitheater, which is a concert grounds kind of in mid Washington state. And it's aptly named because it sits atop the, a gorge. I don't know more about it. I'll try to find out more about the like landscape and what exactly it is. But it's also a camping venue slash concert venue. And I'm going to a three day Dave Matthews band concert camping extravaganza. I... <sighs> I've been looking forward to this. I've been planning this, I think for about two years. Um, I joined the Dave Matthews Band Warehouse to be able to get early drop to tickets. I think I got tickets back at the beginning of the year. Um, I got my campground. I'm staying at the Terrace Camping, which was high on my list. It's a bit of, it's not inexpensive, but it's kind of more my vibe. They have other, camping too that's less expensive but it's a little bit from what I've heard a little bit more rowdy a little bit more lively and the terrace is more it's less people but it's also just more older crowd generally and well I fit right in so anyway I'm so freaking exciting so Gorge Amphitheater is in Quincy Washington which is a two and a half hour drive from here and basically you take um, I thought it was 90, but now I'm like, how could it be 90? Is it 90? I think you take 90 east to directly, and it goes right through. I'm not going to pronounce this right. I'm just going to say this now, and I apologize, and I do not mean to offend anybody. I just seriously have never heard anybody say it out loud before. It is 90. It goes right through the Snoqualmie Pass. I really doubt I'm saying that right, which is part of the Mount Baker Snoqualmie National Forest. And there is a lot of hiking there. Um, and I'm taking the road there. So I'm leaving this early. I actually don't have, I don't think I can check into the campsite until the afternoon, but there's no rush because the concerts don't even start till tomorrow. I just wanted to be there and get settled in and, and I, I've heard they're all good spots, but I just wanted to be there today. Uh, but that gives me plenty of time if I drive about an hour e east to get to a nice trailhead. So that's the thing I didn't plan. Like, I looked at trailheads yesterday. There's so many. There's so many. And they're all different, um, you know, abilities and everything. I might head to this point near the lake. I don't know where I'm going. I'm going to find a trail. We're going to head there and it's going to be epic and um, it's going to be a grand old adventure. This is definitely new to me. <laughs> Camping concert for three days. <laughs> new fun times. Okay, I'm going to figure out where we're going and we're going to go there. Welcome back to the backlit zone. I'm real excited. I made it to the trail. I just put on sunscreen. People like to know sometimes like the things I, I like cool up. I've been using it for years. I'm trying this for the first time. This Kinfield bug spray. But I did 
purchase some of this. I, I've used this spray before on my clothes and stuff um, when I've been backpacking and stuff and it's worked really well. I'm just going to put this on my lower legs and ankles. Um, it's very, very strong. But um, it helps with ticks mostly. And I put the other spray on me for like mosquitoes. I read some reviews that the trail was really buggy this year. So just want to be prepared. Anyway, I got the car all shut up. I've got, you know, window coverings. I've got my pack packed. Can't decide if I want to bring a sandwich. Think, I think I'll wait and make a sandwich when I get back. But um, I, bring, I always have food and lots of water. And. Uh, Oh yeah, I didn't see what I'm doing. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> Does anybody know? I'm doing the Mason Lake via Ira Spring Memorial Trail. Um, 6.8 miles, it's an out and back, and it's supposed to go to a pretty nice looking lake. I thought I downloaded this, but it says I didn't. I'm gonna download it right now. And we're gonna hike. So now it's downloaded. Okay, anyway. I'm excited, looking forward to getting back out in this gorgeous, gorgeous Washington wilderness here. And there's lots of other people at the trailhead. There's a few trails that leave from here, but I feel better knowing that there's like other people around. But I'm very well prepared too, as prepared as I can be. Okay, I'm gonna put this tick stuff on and we'll get going. to do in the Pacific Northwest this trip this summer it's more than one trip um, was to go swimming in an alpine lake I did it it was so cold and I wish I had brought my little sandals with me I didn't think of it I don't know why I knew I was coming to a lake but it's okay because I was fine and it was really refreshing I just stripped down to my undies. There really wasn't, there's was a few people there, but nobody like right where I was. So or whatever, my, my underwear is more coverage than a lot of people's bathing suits are. Not a shabby view <laughs> on the way down. Heading back down, um, I think I'll probably change at the trailhead and make myself a 
where are you? Peanut butter jelly sandwich. And kind of regroup, get all my documents ready for entering the gorge and um, then head there. I don't want to get there like too early because it's really hot and it will be really hot if I'm there at like three o'clock setting up. I want to be there more at like four or five. I think that would be probably just fine. So maybe I'll try to find a... I really should be paying attention to my... Look at this terrain! I'm talking to you and I'm walking on the side of a cliff trying to traverse rocks. <laughs> so, yes. Anyway, um, I might try to find a grocery store to get some eggs. I'm not even sure I really need them. I don't know. See, I'm the kind of person who, like, I'm happy to eat veggies and hummus and peanut butter jelly and chicken sandwiches for like four days or more like that's fine I feel fine if I do that but also it might be so hot that I don't want to cook so that's something to consider I don't know we'll have to see when we're there but if I could find a half a dozen eggs then that would make a nice scramble with those sweet potatoes in them. okay I better pay attention now because I'm yeah traversing stones and Try not to trip. But, uh, you know, just another day in WA. Well, that was fun. That was a really good hike. I will say, on the app, it's rated as hard on all trails. And I would say it's more moderate relatively to other hikes that are rated hard. I don't know. That was just my experience. It's, um, I mean, the one I did in Italy, the Mount Piana hike that was rated moderate, was significantly more difficult than this in terms of like terrain and grade. This is what I did. It was 7.2 miles, is what I hiked, a 2300 foot elevation gain, moving time of three hours and nine minutes. I don't know how long I stopped up at, I don't know what time I left, so I, I probably spent I'd say about 20, like a half an hour up at the lake. An average pace of 26 minutes, 22 seconds. So really good, beautiful trail. Those are my um, stats if you wanna see them. But uh, I'll link, I always link my all trails hikes that I can below. Sometimes it's not like a nice, neat hike that's already on their pro app, but I always try to link it as best I can. Anyway, I'm gonna change, because there's a little, um, like pet toilet thing here and um, make myself a sandwich and then it's only it's not even two yet so I might see if I can find a place to park the car and film a tour I'm thinking about it anyway it's been a good good day so far a security checkpoint. Um, they were checking for narcotics, explosives, um, firearms, those sorts of things. The past, all I have is bear spray <laughs> in terms of any sort of weaponry. And they have the dogs to sniff for the, the I think probably mostly, um, narcotics and explosives. He even, like, he came by and was telling me all this, and he's like, oh, but we allow weed and alcohol. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I don't have any of that, but <laughs> I do have bear spray. Right, I think now, am I getting to the point where I 
get a ticket? Well, it's well staffed, I'll tell you that much. I think they're checking tickets now. Oh, that's it? Okay, thank you. I'll give you a wristband, it's over there. Okay, thanks. This one? Okay. Okay. So she stuck a sticker in my windshield. And apparently get a wristband up here. We're doing good. I'm so stinking excited. I, this is just like, there's already so many cars here. You can't really see them out the window there, but there's a lot that way. Um, but like I said, there's different levels of camping. I paid for the schmancy one. But, uh, you know, sometimes you just pay for the schmancy one. Sometimes you sleep in the middle of the forest and pay nothing. This is just, this is just what we do around here. I think I'm going the right way. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Now that you lose control and I think I like it. Oh, that's a neato tent. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I am good. I'm doing good. Even though it's, it's hot. hot and smoky, huh? Yeah. Have you camped in terraces before? I haven't. Okay, where are you from? <laughs> Chicago. Oh, I'm from uh, Wisconsin. Oh, neat. Okay, so that's cool. This is probably better because you could go back there or you can go right here but i would say this has got a view and that doesn't so your call i'll take the that view that has a little more space but i'll take the view you're, okay back right on this red line right here okay to move over right about six inches? Sure thing. Thanks. Okay. There you go. There you go. Straight back's fine. Okay. Nice and easy. Good. Good. Thank you. Yep. And I don't know if you've been here, but the red line, so that red line there, another one on the other side, everything between them, the grass. Awesome. Have fun. Thank you. to the red line on the other, get a picnic bench. It's actually quite windy. And look, we got a view. Ah, it's gorgeous. It's hot. It's real hot. But I hope it cools down. Well, 
I totally MacGyvered that, but I think it, I think I did a pretty good job. I'm pretty proud of myself. It took a lot to get that moonshade up on that car, because the car, the width of the car is much narrower than the moonshade, and it did not want to stick, but it stuck finally. And then I just used a couple blankets I had to get a little bit of a break from the sun. I'm not all prepared for this. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm glad I have the moonshade. It's my first time using it. It worked better on the side of the car, but I wanted to, first of all, I think you have to park this way. I also wanted to park out. Um, and I wanted to put, attach it in a way that I could still close the hatch if I wanted to. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, it's not a little set up. I think I'm going to have a salad and just sit here. But this is the scene there's a lot happening. People are settling in. Salad in the back. Peanut and crispy noodle salad kit. I'm not even hungry, I'm just sweating, but I'm not really sure what the point of taking a shower is if I'm just gonna sweat all night. Okay, I'm just gonna give you a little lay of the land here. I've got my Jackery on and my various things charging. I've got some things are still damp from profuse of sweating. <laughs> just keep me real. They're drying in here because it's much warmer inside than it is outside. And also I just don't really need to have my bra flapping in the wind. Um, and yeah, I've kind of, I don't know if this is gonna work. But I'm thinking of trying to sleep with the hatch open tonight. It's supposed to get rather cold, but my neighbors are very quiet. I think everybody's kind of turning in. And I'm pretty, like, there's nobody right there. And I've closed up shop on all the other windows are shut. And, um, you know, I've got my window shades up. So I've got privacy in that way, and it's supposed to get down to the 50s. I can already feel the breeze coming into the car, so it's cooling off considerably. So that's my thought. Spooky lighting. <laughs> anyway, um, someone said I should put up fairy lights. I have them. I, I have, I have them. I just haven't, I don't know. I haven't done it. Is there a reason why? No. I have two sets of these. Turn on. I'm gonna turn on. Not the flashing. See? The little balls. They're kind of tangled together right now. But anyway, and I could totally string them up. I just, I don't know. I don't really want to. I'm thinking maybe putting some off. It'd be fun to like drape them on the moon shape. I don't know if I fully like talked about that. So I bought the moon shade before I left home. This is, you know, a while ago now. And I just never put it up because I just didn't get it, I just didn't. And now I'm at this place where it's a perfect thing to have the shade up. I've hung like my towels and my blanket from it so it gives me a little bit more privacy on the side and a little bit more shade. Um, and I've laid out my blanket so I'm hoping to do yoga in the morning, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. But um, I really like it. It was a pain in the butt to get attached to my car. Like I said, if I had my car the other way and I could attach it lengthwise to the car, no problem. But because I'm trying to attach a seven foot wide thing to maybe a five foot wide car, um, and it's got like tension rods, it's got all these, it's like, the magnets are very strong and they are working, but it was a different situation trying to get it all, all sorted, but. I don't know. I like, I like the way it turned out. I think it... We'll see if it holds. I didn't like secure it to the ground or anything. I didn't feel like I really needed to. We'll find out in the middle of the night if it blows away. Hopefully it doesn't get super winning. It's not stormy or anything. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. And I'm not gonna move my car tomorrow because tomorrow's the first day. And I just want to like stay here. And I don't, you know, I want to like go down to the venue early and... I get the lay of the land, maybe get some, I'm hoping there's some food vendors. 
Um, I might buy myself a beer. I do not drink very often, but at concerts, I like to have a beer or a drink sometimes, like before the concert starts. Um, and I'd like to get some merch. And then we'll see what the rest of the weekend brings. But I have a feeling this these videos, it's going to be too long to fit all five of these days. And uh, it's five total travel days, but four concert days in one video. So, um, yeah, I have to think about how that's going to work out. So I'm not really sure why I'm cutting cutting videos or anything like that yet, but I'm probably going to have at least two videos. So they're not like, it's not like a three hour long video. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to pack it in here and um, I'll see you in the morning with a full report on how this sleeping at the gorge with the hatch open went. I can always close it too. I don't even have to get out of the car to close it because I can just, there's a strap. I can close the hatch if it's cold or I feel like, I don't feel unsafe at all. Um, it's more just um, if it's cold or like really buggy, but we'll see. Okay, good night.